pipeline as code, also known as configuration as code, is a feature in Team City that enables us to use Kotlin DSL or domain specific language to write build configurations. Hello everyone, this is Kirti explaining this concept. Let's dive in. What is Team City? Team City is a build system to build a software. And why do we need a build system? Let's say, for an example, we have a software development team which has a Git repository, and there would be multiple check ins to this Git repository from developers, from testers. And how do we make sure that this check ins uh, work fine? And this is where a build system comes into place. So, in our example, it's Team City. One other more common example is Jenkins, which is like, like an open source software. So let's see, let's see like how uh, pipelines work in Team City. So in pipe in pipelines, usually there are like multiple stages which constitute a pipeline. So let's say in our example, we have the first stage as like the Git checkout. This is like stage one. And the next stage would be to install the software. So this is stage two. And for our final stage, let's have test. Stage three. So all these three stages, they contribute to a pipeline. And how the pipelines work is, so even if one single stage, the, the first first coming stages fails, then the entire stage would fail or yeah, it, it is configurable. So this is like the basics of the pipeline in Team City. The next step is to install Team City. So go to this link. I've also provided this link in the description of this video and click on download. Uh, for Windows users, you should be getting .exe by default. If you don't get it, then click on this link and then click Windows.exe. And similarly for Linux users, click .ta.gz and you should be getting a uh, downloading of file. For Linux and Mac OS users, you get an archive and little note on that is to like extract the archive and read through the readme.txt file or it's named teamcity-readme.txt file and follow the instructions in that file. And when you have installed teamcity, so you go to localhost colon 8111. And then you should be able to see a page like this. Uh, there's a login prompt and sign in. Then you should be able to go to this, see the page like this. And then I would like to see, uh, use like the new UI. So this is like new experimental Team City UI. So the next step is to create a project. So click on the create project button here. That opens a new tab in the browser with a couple of input fields. The first one is to enter the repository URL. So I'm using my GitHub repository. So what you can do is you can go to the sample react app. You can for come into this repository and you can maybe fork the repository. And then so this would forking would give this repository into your personal account and copy this link here. Then paste it here and then the username is this guy so click on this link and copy this one so this would be different for your repository like what your username would be different and then the, the password access token so i usually use the access token so that you, how to create that is here in this page I will share this link in the description of this video. So coming back here. So I've already created an access token. So I'll be pasting it here. 
Let me click on proceed. So here it says the connection to the VCS repository repository has been verified. So I'm going to keep the default settings and then go to proceed. So now Team City scans for this and then like auto detected build steps didn't find anything because the sample React app is a JavaScript app and Team City doesn't have any auto automatic build configurations for this. So that we'll be creating and then so for having pipeline as a code, so we need to do like a couple of settings. So here you click on sample react app. So this is like the project settings. Sample react app is the name of the project. And then you go to version settings. And here we need to have synchronization enabled. And then you have this choose VCS route. So usually you have like this main branch, and then you select this one. So this one when build starts, so we always have to use settings from VCS. So why we use this setting is because we always want to use the latest from the Kotlin code, the, the pipeline code, and not the other settings. And then we change the settings format to Kotlin. And this internally, when compiled, like it converts it into an XML and saves it. So, yeah. And click on apply. And let's see here. So we, when you click on apply, you get this current status, team city changed, versions and information collecting changed files. So yes, after some time you get this successfully committed revision. So what now happens is so Team City has committed a default set of files into the repository. So you can see that here. Go to the app. And then you see this the dot team city directory like created 25 seconds ago. So when I go here, so you see like the two files, like the pom.xml file and settings.kts file. We don't have to worry about pom.xml file for now. So we just go inside the settings.kts. So the kts file is like a, a Kotlin file. Like Jet, uh, it's it's a language from JetBrains and Team City uses uses this as a configuration for the pipelines. So here is this like sort of default code that is generated. And this concludes the creation of a project. So now we have created a project in Team City. So let's see like what is the current state. So we click on the Team City logo at the top left and you're taken to the home page. And here you see our sample React app and what our configuration that we've configured. And here you see there's the first build, which is state success. And this has been run by, by an auto trigger, or you can just manually click on run to run the build. And if you see, so this is like what is the change of this build. And here it says Team City change uh, version settings configuration. So this is the dot Team City folder check in to the repository. The two files is like the, the form and the the bomb.xml file and settings.kts file. So now let's look at the build log. So build log says collecting changes in one VCS route. So this is the version control system. So it directs for changes and it collects the, the version. And then, so here if you see, there is no real uh, installing or testing of the software it just checks out the code but there's nothing this is because if you see the default configuration that team city has checked in well we create the project it has just this import statements 
and a couple of comments and the version of the team city dsl and here it's like this is like a project bubble type this is like the kotlin uh, dsl configuration and here there's nothing here so there's only like version control system and then this is like triggers trigger. so there's no in installing like npm install or npm test so let's try go ahead and create that now coming to the important part of the video we are going to create multiple stages and those stages are going to form our pipeline that we would like to have so i opened the sample react app i've cloned it cloned it from my github repository put it in my machine and opened it in intellij and so this is the one dot dot team city directory is the one that has been checked by team city uh, the default configuration file so the first thing that we should do is right click on pom.xml file and then select add as maven project so we get the maven window here and then just click reload just in case so the main purpose of this is to have the auto completions the settings.kts file we could just minimize this maven window so to have these completions and to have the suggestions we just had just like maven project i'm going to quickly remove this comment so this file now at its present state has a couple of import statements so these are like the libraries that is required and this version line denotes the version of the team city kotlin dsl so this is to tell the team city server that this is the version of the dear kotlin dsl so that the any future versions which may modify this configuration again may not get affected uh, and then these are like the default that which the team city server requires and here we are going to add our build steps so let's add our npm install step so first we start by adding steps section and then this step section can have multiple scripts so i i would like to see this as uh, stages so let's have like one script here so the auto completion gives me a suggestion and then there's an enclosure so here i would like to give the name of this script or stage as install npm packages packages and so this is script content and what would go here is npm install so this is just like right what would be executed in the terminal this three codes is uh, the Kotlin way of string interpolation. Now we have added a stage for npm install. So now let's go ahead and add a stage for npm test or npm run verified. I have added a custom script for testing. So now let's add this name for this stage as run tests let's say and then similarly the script content would be have an external regulation and then npm run verify so that's it so npm run verify is a custom script in that we have put in package json file uh, just to have like swatch all, all false so that uh, the team city can complete the build in case of npm test just this one react scripts test it, it would keep uh, watching for any new changes so that's why npm run verify was being used going back so let's commit this code now so opening terminal so let's see the file has changed 
So this is like a IML file. This uh, is a IntelliJ temp temporary uh, cache file. So you can just add this to git ignore. So that we don't have to check in this file. So now let's see the status. So now we have added a new changes to git ignore and then now new stages in settings are kts file so let's commit this file and i'm going to put the cut message as add your stages and then i'm going to write git push yes so this is now committed to our repository let's go back to our browser 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 here so this is our dot team city directory and we have our comment 24 seconds ago so we have our stages now like it's called scripts and here install npm packages and run test so now let's go to team city uh, ta -ta -ta. Build. So there's our auto trigger that kicked off, and here there is running. So let's go and see the build log. So here you see here the install npm packages. So this is the name of the script that we gave. Uh, so here the install npm packages. So this is the step one that is being run now. So that would take some time because it's going to install the node modules. Step one is complete. In step two, let's open step two. It says run tests, command line. So this is the same as the name of this stage or name of the script in the step. And then it says pass, it's all the console messages. So we have two test suites and we have like three pass and two token. Let's come back test. And then the build has now finished. Let's go back to build now. And then we have build as success. So this is how the Team City pipeline works, and you could, this is just a basic example. We could have more examples, we could have more steps depending on how the product requirement is. To conclude, I would like to show the TSL documentation from Team City. So, I'll be providing this link in the description of this video. So, here you can find a whole host of configuration settings that can be used. Uh, for example, this we use like the build steps from here from this uh, document here. Uh, let's go down or something from the script content. The script build step is a uh, where we have put our commands. So this provides like a whole lot of documentation. Thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video.